after this hip drop penalty came out i had to i had to work the phones we got delaney here i wanted to get delaney he was coming to visit the boys he actually he actually he actually broke his leg on the hip drop tackle so we got delaney here someone who has had experience with the hip drop tackle and we're also going to have special guest kyle long he's been somebody who's been very vocal already in social media saying that this is a great rule yada 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 he's already chirping and trolling the defensive players about hey learn to tackle better so we're going to get him and then we should probably have a good little debate and argument about it but you're are you kind of like pro hip drop like take it out <clears throat> you you know it's weird i'm i'm kind of on both sides of the fence i feel like since it ended me <laughs> hey when you came in i was like bro what do you think about this hip drop tackle he was like that's how I broke my leg. I'm like, oh. I'm like, damn, you you didn't see it? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, damn. I, I forgot that that's how that went down. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I'm biased. I feel like that's how I ended my career pretty much with that tackle. So, yeah, I hate it. I think that it's a bullshit tackle, but is it something you can teach players not to do? No. I think it happens in the game. And it you not you never gonna know it's gonna happen until it happens to you. Until you're just in, and then you don't even know it's happening. You're just reacting like yeah. we'll get we'll get Kyle on because he's got to fucking he's got to hear this stuff too. I feel like he's gonna be chirping kind of. He's gonna be he's gonna be pro new rule. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, he's I'm be sure. A, so we'll be able to figure out wiggle room here. But we're gonna uh, take a minute next time you see us, Kyle. We'll all three be here and we'll all be ready to to argue about this. I can't wait. We might have to get up and reenact the same shit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that. Because that's true. You don't know until, like, you're not, like, in my brain, I'm not thinking, damn, I'm beat. Let me go to the hip drop tackle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, it's like, damn, I'm beat. Just get them down. Yeah, get them on the grass. Get them on the grass. Like, I, I understand that when I played on special teams, I'm sure someone, that's why I don't want to say I'm pro with the rule because they could probably, this is their new internet. They can pull up a hundred clips of me hip dropping cats on special That's teams. That's right. You did do team, so you kind of know, yeah, yeah. So and I and I know if you beating me, I'm dragging you down. Like I'm gonna put all my weight to drag you down. It's not that I'm trying to land on your ankles. I'm literally just trying to get you down. Yeah. So I understand that. That's why when he when old buddy broke my leg, I wasn't even mad at him because it was part of the game, and he was just trying to get me down. And that's pretty much what it is. But uh, is it a good rule? I mean, how many ankles have we seen get broke in the last four or five years? Enough to make that a rule? I think it's enough to is make that a rule. You think there's enough? You think it's enough? I think it's enough. I just feel like it would be good to know the data, I guess. Like, I could be talking out of turn without understanding all the data. I'm just thinking, like, to me, it seems like it doesn't happen enough to make it a rule. You're saying like there's been enough to where it could be like, okay, that could be looked at. It's been enough. It's been it, it may not have been where they broke their ankle, but it's been significant injuries where guys But I wonder what percentage of guys get injured on a hip drop hip hip drop tackle. You know what I mean? Just like, okay, we've seen enough injuries, but how about the ones we haven't seen that haven't been injured? True. But but they're saying it. So some of the highlights I saw y'all post earlier. It was guys who got hit, dropped, tackled, but didn't get hurt. They popped right up, but it looked it like they got hurt pretty much. Kyle, can you hear us? Yeah, you guys talking about cheesy tackles or what? <laughs> okay, here here comes uh, ex-offensive lineman Kyle Long. Yo, Who's I got to give a shout out to, to my man expert. right here. One of the best tight ends to ever do it. And me and him have never really had any crossover. And I laugh so fucking hard every time <laughs> I get Compton on the set with old D-Walk over here. So funny. It's good to be on here with you, bro. Oh, same here. Thanks, man. Hey, great so this will be a nice little roundtable discussion because, Kyle, you're already you're already making your sounds out there on social media trolling the bet on what you do best and i think it's absurd that this is a rule now we have delaney here who broke his leg from a hip drop tackle that's what essentially ended his career he could never really get back right since that tackle but he's kind of on the fence of being like yeah it's a bullshit tackle but also like that's the nature of the game why do you feel like it's such a good why are you out there being like oh this is a good rule this is a positive rule do you know the we're, data? We're cleaning things up. It's not like we're changing the framework of the game, bro. We're, we're taking a play that happens once a game and more 
Now we we've seen it happening more. Guys see that it works. I mean, obviously we can get a guy down. You take their legs out. You drop on the the back of their legs. Bad things happen. But look, it happened once a game per game in the NFL. So we're not. It's not like changing the game. People love to bitch about Taylor Swift. They love to bitch about things that happen once a game. Um, it seems to be a theme around NFL fans. And I just think that if you're a real fan of the NFL, you want the best product on the field. In order to do that, you want the starters, the elite players on the field. Who's going to get the ball at an astronomical rate compared to other guys? The stars. And if they're getting tackled at a hip drop tackle, things could happen that are bad. Now your team is without one of the best. Now I'm a football fan on Sunday. I can't bet on X, Y, or Z team because all their guys got hip drop. Right, but it, uh, it, essentially, it's still going to be a part of the game. It's, it's like injuries will still happen, and yep. now it can just be penalized. So it could actually decide. It probably, like the chances of it are, like you said, it's one tackle a game, and the chances of it actually happening in a critical moment is low. But the moment it does happen, and somebody doesn't get injured, and a hip drop tackle is made to keep somebody short on a cru uh, on a crucial third down, it's going to piss everybody off because now the game is now in the hands of the referees. Like, well, do we have the data I, I think that on a hip the drop game tackle? will be in the hands of the tackler, right? I mean, and no. there's a certain there's a certain number of tools you have as a football player and as an offensive lineman. There are a certain a certain number of ways to skin a cat in regard to run blocking and pass blocking. There were cer certain things that were globally accepted as legal. There were certain things that they were in the gray area, and there's certain things that you, as a defender, when you see guys do it. You say, that's fucking dirty. I wish it wasn't even in the league, but it's part of the league. So on the other side of the fence for you, there's certain things that are acceptable. We can all agree that should be out of the league. This is one of those things that I think is a non-negotiable thing. Like, we're going to keep guys healthier. It's not telling you you can't hit guys hard. As a matter of fact, it's not even a hard hit. It's a hip drop. It's it's a lazy man's way to get a guy down. Go put your go put your shoulder pad in somebody's sternum if you want to make a statement. Well, how how well, do you go? Sorry, well, go okay, ahead. Delaney. So should, should we change the box of where we can hit a player? Because now you're saying go and hit this guy, put your shoulder pads in his sternum. But sometimes when you do that, you get a penalty for doing that too. If you hitting them in a certain area, it's unfortunate. It's that's the nature of the violent game that we play. And I mean, we've seen so many terrible things happen to guys. That's why we've had to trim the uh, trim the fat, tweak the margins. And this is something that we're going to have to play with. Is it one of those rules that's going to stick forever? I'm not sure. I think there could be a better uh, penalty for it. Like you're saying, this is one of those things that people are going to get bent out of shape over, but it's a trial period. Our game goes through this. The only thing that's constant in the NFL is change. And I know people are like, what would Dick Buck say about this? Well, the game that he played was drastically different than the one that we're all in love with uh, during the football season. So I, I hope that people can come to an agreement here uh, eventually, but I'm just really glad that player safety is obviously being uh, prioritized. The union made a, a statement saying that this is not what the union wants. As you're talking about player safety, they even went from that angle and said, yes, player safety taken into account. This is not a rule that we want to see uh, come into play. And I guess, which, and again, you do a great balance. You have the, you have the, you're well spoken, you're well said about all this stuff. And you also have this troll side of you because it's like, no one ever, it's not a lazy way of tackling. It's just, you don't know you're in the situation until you're in the situation. Like if it's uh, Delaney and I were kind of standing up, walking through it. It's like, if it's third and seven and I drop to the six, he catches it at four, his back's to me. Yeah. Long stride, short stride, long stride, short stride, shoot. But the minute he makes a move, if he gets outside of my body and I'm trying to keep him from getting to the first down marker, I'm not thinking, okay, shit, he beat me a little bit. Let me go to the hip drop tackle. You're just thinking as a defender. I'm trying to get him to the grass. You're just like reacting he, however you can. It's yeah. the same thing with blocking, bro. When I line up and try to block a guy like Julius Peppers, I know that there's going to be plays where I'm going to toe the line of illegal because I have to try to get the job done when I'm running. Okay, Delaney, you get a you get a, a wide nine out there rushing, and the coach says stay inside out. The next thing you know, you're two inside out, so you got to run this guy by. you got to put your hand on his hip, maybe give him a little wrench at the top of the rush. Yep. This isn't illegal, but it's gray area stuff. We've found out, or at least I, I've formed the opinion of the hip drop tackle has no place in our game. Now, there's certain things that Chris, my brother, and I disagree on green light about uh, when a block when a block is over, when a guy should take his hand off the hip. And that's the stuff that's always going to be argued about across party lines here. And there's things that Delaney and I are going to agree on, and there's things that Will and I are going to vehemently disagree on. But that's the beauty of this game. We're passionate. We <laughs> love the game of football. And hopefully this is uh, another step towards making our game better.
I think it's a step in the wrong direction. No, I think it's a step to making the game better. Just like you said, you want to see the star players on the field. You want to see the star players on the field. I don't come Man. to see the third string tight end play. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's what the NFL wants. They want their starters on the field. And if we got to protect the starters, obviously this is something that they feel is hurting a lot of key players. And we've been seeing it over the past year. It's an offensive league. Truly. Like literally every rule goes that's in a favor tough of the for offensive. Some people to swallow, Will. It's yeah. an offensive league. It is. You know, there's it, some it, sports every... out there that are jealous that it's a football world we live yeah. in. Yeah. But, but that's just the the cold hard truths and the realities. People like to watch uh, you know, points put up on the board. You don't go to the strip club to get chicken tenders, Will. Okay? Okay. <laughs> you, you, want, you want points on no, the board. No, people love seeing people separate the ball from the ball carrier. Those hits are gone. You barely land on a quarterback the wrong way. There's such a gray area there. I that's a bad that. situation. Well, I that's it. part of that. It's like, it's like part of learn to tackle better. Oh, don't have a lazy way of trying to See, get after the quarterback. that's not a learn to tackle better situation. That's, oh, don't, uh, don't well, fall. Maybe we're valuing the safety too much. I mean, I think some of these guys can get pink kicked on the ground a little bit and have the weight drop on him without it being a brain shot, an ACL shot, uh, or that tib fib hip drop, you know? So as a fan of rushers, Chris Long's my brother, bro. Ton of sacks in the NFL. Howie Long raised me. That's my dad. I love getting after the quarterback as much as anybody. And I love the violent hits. I love seeing that kind of stuff, but there's some hits that are violent that ended injury more often than not. And the injuries take a long time to come back from. You're robbing not only uh, your team from the performance, fans from the entertainment value, but these players from potentially taking care of their families. Well, yeah, well, yeah. flip side, a guy getting cut from the team because he couldn't get a guy out of the grass because he's got to think, oh, let me ride this guy a few more yards. I just gave well, up a massive sales, play. Buddy. <laughs> hey, you know we need to come after next, and it's fucking pancakes. Then, if we're talking about body weight, we're trying to not make the game as physical. Anytime you see a pancake from an offensive guy and their body lands on top of them, should we not be thinking about the safety defender at that point? Definitely not. You know what? You're right, and that's why I think that this offense. That's like if a if an offensive lineman gets flat backed, if I get bull rushed by Aaron Donald and I get planted on the ground, I don't think that he deserves to be penalized i deserve to go take more reps in the weight room yeah i deserve to go take more reps after practice in one-on-ones to get my hand placement better to put myself in a position to where i don't end up in that situation and as far as the rushers landing on the quarterbacks i mean get the ball out quarterback mm -hmm. get the ball out you watch all these rushers that get pissed off playing against guys like tom brady and they're like just stop throwing it so damn fast stop getting the ball out so that's how you prevent stuff like that I just think that this rule is going to decide a big game at some point this year. It will. Definitely. It and, will. And do we know, like, do we know the data behind these hip drop tackles? Like, yeah, we've seen some injuries happen recently over the last few years. Obviously, we're kind of like zoomed in and spotlighting this hip drop tackle now that, it, that it's been coined. And what about the guys that we don't see get injured? Like, do we actually know the injury rate or are we just like, oh, whatever we can to keep a star player on the field? I think it's enough stars been injured for them to feel like this needs to be changed. To be it's honest, the type of injury, Delaney, right? I mean, a broken ankle. Yeah, it's not just like oh, I, I, I got do, a, I I hate got a low ankle. I got to tape this thing up this week. It's like I have to go get MRIs and X-rays. Yeah, yeah, broken. Uh, yeah, I, trust me, I I hate that. The, yeah. Dislocated. <laughs> that yeah, ended, basically ended your career. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. But I, to fight for my defensive guys out there, like everyone acts like this is some premeditated instinctual thing, like in the moment. And it's, it's not, it's, it's like, well, fuck how, how in the hell we have to be so specific in how we tackle now. And at, at, there are some gray areas where you don't even know what you're doing. So you go to the sideline and coach is just like, look, man, I don't know. I don't know yeah, what to tell you. I, I've seen that. Yeah. Like, you know, if Rabe, yeah, Rabe's always that. pro the rule, like, Hey, that's just the rule. Now that sucks. I, that, Guys will get hit in the sternum and it'll be called for like an upper. I know. Because it's in the moment. It's so fast and you can't review it. And that's the thing. Like we've taken the, re we don't, we, we're not able to go back and review like, Hey, was this even a, a legal hit? Yeah. Yeah. I just think it's bullshit. I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sad loss for the defender. It's a sad I loss think it's for the defender. I think it's an important reaction. The distinction between the coaches that are going to complain about this and use it as a crutch and the coaches that find a way to improve their tackling. You may see some units come out there with some really elite, uh, tackling tool belts, as it were, Compton. You know, guys who are you know that's false. Right you know that's false. You're gonna, you know, you know what happens here, Kyle. Guys are gonna be going to practice now, doing some just some extra stupid ass drill that we're all like, God damn, <laughs> definitely gonna be some extra we're, dumb we're do, drills. We're doing this because coaches just want to cover their ass and say that yeah, they're teaching this. Yeah. We know that's how it's gonna yeah. be. 
<laughs> Every way, it's, just, it's a cover your ass league, man. That's what, you know, that's there's what it's become. That uh, there's always that week, whether it's the, I think it's the spring, where all the positions get to practice all the different tackling circuits. Yep. You know, it's like the big guys go to the crash pad <laughs> and we're going to work on cutting <laughs> corners. And it's the most fun 10 minutes uh, you'll ever do in the NFL, I think. You're in mesh shorts and you're practicing tackling. You're 350 pounds and you're tackling dummies. Because in your brain, you're not going to have to ever really be ever. in that situation. You're just ever. having fun with yeah. a new drill. Yeah. It's like PE class for you. For us, we're nobody, thinking like God. Uh, was more prepared for an interception than your boy. Okay. <laughs> How many tackles you got? I got a couple. I filled up like half a hand, I think. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like three. <laughs> you probably had a hip drop in there. Oh, I fucked up some guy in the Cowboys one time. I got to find it on film, but there was an inter. I was a rookie, so I was just like fearless. After my rookie year, I just played safety on all the interceptions. I ran straight to the end zone. <laughs> I directed traffic. But my rookie year, bro, I was out there just tackling motherfuckers, and there was one in the Cowboys game I definitely got to find. It was violent, bro. You would have appreciated it. Yeah, yeah I'm sure I would have. I, I didn't take you for the pro. This makes the game better. I really didn't. I opened up the bird. I opened up the X this morning. I saw your nonsense being spewed. You're already battling the trolls back, trolling them even harder. Like this motherfucker, man, who, who who's a man note of violence, it seems like anyway, wants to make the game softer. You know what? This is uh, this is great discourse. I love the NFL, and I'm glad that we have something that we can passionately argue about. It's yeah. better than being bored with the game. No question. Yeah, hey, so you're pro of this makes the game better. I think it makes the game better. I, I just think it protects the players that need to be on the field. And I'm all about mm -hmm. having the players that need to be on the field be on the field and play. You know me. When the, when a second string guy came in, third string, I'm like, who? Yeah, but that's because well, you just practice more during the, that year. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? You had all the off days. You had every vet off day imaginable. I maybe your maybe your your bone would a little bit been a little bit more sturdier had you been practicing all, all 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 You're off crazy. season. Crazy. Why you think it was all jacked up? They was making me practice every day. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not no, letting you have no, that. We gotta no, go no. that route, no, no. the NBA route, where they give us days off. Like they start like I mean, we all got vet days. Like if you're a dude, you you've experienced vet days, and each team is different. But I think that if we continue to go in this direction, like people can't see it for what it is. We are moving in the direction of the National Basketball Association. Association. We are going to have ridiculous contracts that we're going to be able to attain because the NFL has taken care of us with rule changes and the techniques have changed to be able to uh, allow for, for, you know, less, not, ex I, I want to see explosive plays. I want to see less destructive plays. I want to see things, uh, you know, this, I want to see the same roster every week, you know, and that's yeah. just not something that happens in the NFL. We need to move towards that. And I think this is the league taking a step in that direction. Oh, that was a big one. I know Kyle's just getting softer by the day, bro. I, I want to see. I less, just hope we all get less, richer. Less destruction. This no, needs yeah, more no, money. No, no, no. You're right. You, you're right. You may, you make very good points, and I could just be the, uh, the, uh, the old man mad that we're not, we're not part of this league. Just yelling yeah. at the cloud. Yeah, yelling yeah. at the cloud. But Delaney had a good point. Hey, go ahead and talk about your uh, Olympics theory. Oh yeah, I was, I was saying, I, I'm, and maybe in a few decades or so. NFL could become a flag football league. What you think? Because, because the, the Olympics now have it as has have a sport. They have it as a sport. It's like Mario Kart. There's 50, 100, and 150 CC. There's got to be levels to this shit. I mean, the <laughs> NFL has to be the NFL. And we have to we have to be able to retain that brutal, uh, you know, classic game, which we're going to refine. And it's going to be classy, but then we're going to have you know the two hand touch league. Then we're going to have the flag league. Then we're going to have the the women's league. We're going to have the eighteen and under uh olympics i i'm all for it delaney it's such a great game and you look at games that have been like international sensations like soccer yeah. and basketball and it's just easy to pick up and easy to play if you reduce the amount of equipment it is going to open the doors for more people and uh you know that 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 I'm wealth gap is going to be Kyle, he calls a politician i'm telling you bro i'm telling you and for context everybody listening both of these guys, Kyle and Delaney, that we're talking to in this instance, they both wear the shield still to some capacity, so they can't talk as openly, as freely as they'd like to. <laughs> I'm a free-range chicken, homie. I don't know about you, Delaney, but uh, you know they can slap whatever logo on my chest, but I'm going to be me. Me too. They, they like me because I say what I say. That's why no, they give me 100 with them. So I well, like, This uh, is great. Yeah, I like Kyle's take earlier. Like It's something that creates a good 
debate, a good argument, gets everybody passionate and fired up about right. something. Because somebody, uh, I had already said a couple of things, and a few people are like, "You're still gonna watch?" It's like, "Well, you yeah, no shit, I'm gonna watch. It's my, it's a, it's my <laughs> yeah, favorite yeah, sport. Like, I will always watch." It. And to Kyle's note, on like, there's gonna be eighteen, there's gonna be all these different leagues. Like, I, yeah, I can't wait to hopefully be consumed by all these leagues and placing terrible bets to where everybody can fade me in those leagues as well. If our daughters good. could wear the shield one day. They could yep. represent our great country uh, on an international scale yep. stage. Uh, being able to play against other women it would be really cool it's just a, it's like a pipe dream of mine like uh i was sitting there w looking at my rookie mini camp uh binder this morning uh i was going through some old shit and my daughter was fascinated with the drawings like the the routes and stuff. yeah you know uh, we were looking at some flood concepts uh, she's, <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna frustrate some people you teach her about the hey we gotta start working on this hip drop we gotta get the technique out of it yeah we gotta teach her athleticism so she can get her hips there so she doesn't have to hip drop yeah yeah my fight is with the guys who are who are in the great who might not have the most ability and they get beat every now and then on a yeah. step and you just gotta think god damn it this is for your next paycheck get him down to the ground <laughs> get, him, get him down to the ground because you're back yo why didn't you run your feet like yeah that sounds nice yeah, that's exactly what they're gonna say run your feet <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, what? Yeah, that sounds Get nice. your feet there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stiff on by Derrick Henry. See what right. happens is you reach. Yeah, you reach. Right, you yeah. get out. Of, you get outside of your body. Like, yeah, well, that fucking happens in my world every yeah. now and then. You reach. Uh, or they said, "See, you went rogue here." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You see how your feet got a little wide? Like I didn't know that they were getting wide, but goddamn, he's running at me full speed. Yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. What you want me to do? All right, Kyle, I appreciate you for jumping hey, on. thank you, guys. It's good to talk to you, Delaney. Will, fuck you. And JP, what up? And all the boys, Jack Mack, all the homies. All right, brother, love you. All right, my guy. All right, peace.